hello friends welcome to the soft learning i am making this video for the appropriate selection of property package uh, sometimes people ask when we simulating processes then which property package will we select so i i am making this video to clear this problem uh, you can see uh, here this is the property packages i will tell you the two methods to select the appropriate property package so um, the first method is uh, in spend hiasis uh, just go to the methods assistant in home select the methods assistant i'm selecting this you can see the new window is open this is the spend hiasis property package selection assistant so uh, in my version of Aspen Hiasis, the window looks like this. In your version, maybe the windows looks like different, but the way is same, the method is same. So uh, here you can see uh, it tells start by selecting one of the following process type or applications. I am selecting the process. Which process I am simulating? It depends in the it depends on the process which I am simulating. So if I simulate aisle ingress processing, so I will click on this. You can see uh, in general, uh, Spen uh, tells us that in general, we recommend that you use a cubic equation of state based property package such as Peng Robinson, CPA, SRK, BWRS, MBWR. You can further uh, go to the information uh, by clicking on this, I am clicking on Peng Robinson. You can see the Peng Robinson model is ideal for VLE calculation for hydrocarbon systems. This is clear. This is for hydrocarbon processes, and uh, you can also click on the others. I am clicking on CPA. So the CPA property package uses the cubic plus association CPA equation of state model. So it tells the model's applicability covers the VLE and VLE of mixture containing hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon is uh, ion related processes and non hydrocarbons such as CO2, CO2, H2S, and nitrogen. The property package, CPA property package, is also for gas processing. So CO2, H2S, and nitrogen processes are gas processes. So these uh, property packages are for ion and gas processing. Next, we can check the refining processes. So, for the refinery applications, in general, for refinery application, use methods such as Pengo Benson, Braun Ketten, Keo Cedar, and Grayson Street. These are four property packages, and these four, the Braun Ketten, we use the Braun Ketten for uh, vacuum. For, for vacuum processes in which the pressure is low, you can see the brown curtain model is strictly applicable to heavy hydrocarbon system at low pressure. When hydrocarbon system is at low pressure or at vacuum, so we use brown curtain. Now come to chemical processes. For chemical processes at low pressure of less than 10 bars, we can use these pro these property packages and rtl best packages uniquake and van lar or wilson for for preliminary designs at low pressure unifake can be used at high pressure greater than 10 bars use an equation of state method such as peng robinson and variations you can see spen hasis are guiding you uh, step by step uh, in which process you can use uh, the property package, the specific property package. So the one way is you can uh, get help from Spen Hiasis. The other met I, uh, method I will tell you later. And for electrolyte, you, you can use o OLI electrolyte for aqueous solution, aqueous system. Uh, you can see the detail here. F Use the S-Pen property electrolyte model for aqueous and mixed solvent systems. 
for electrolyte system that include gas processing if gas processing is included in electrolyte system then you gas you can use uh, gas treating gas select one of the following gas treating processes for further guidance glycol di let's suppose if it is included uh, the gas processing included then glycol dehydration uh, the S pen tells us that we recommend that you use the CPA property package. So we can use CPA property package. If if systems electrolyte system that include gas processing, gas process is included in electrolyte uh, processes, then you can use these property packages based on the processes. If the process is glycol dehydration, then you can use the CPA property package, and we can uh, you can also use the following property packages: pengrobenzene glycol package. If uh, we uh, if our process is power related, so uh, you uh, you can use pengrobenzene packages or SRK based packages. If for water only system, use IAPW. S I F nine seven. I have made a video on steam engine simulation. Uh, in steam engine simulation, there is only component uh, the steam. So I have used I A P W S I F nine seven property package. When you when you have only steam, and the simu in the process, uh, you can use this property package. Or if uh, you can also use NBS steam, ASME steam. Uh, let's suppose uh, I have a process which is uh, petrochemical. So, our petrochemical processes, a wide range of property package can be used depending on the process and while both equation of state and activity coefficient methods may be used. Uh, in I have a petrochemical process, but which petrochemical pro uh, process? If I have aromatics BTX extractions, then I can select on this and Aspen Hyaces recommend me uh, these uh, property packages. Use an activity coefficient method such as NRTL and its variants. Uniquake, you can also use when Lar, Wilson, Margulis, or Chain Null. For system that only contain aromatics, refer to aromatic systems. The following issue must also be considered carboxylic acids such as acetic acid in the mixture, electrolyte systems to liquid phases. If you have environmental processes, then you can you can use these uh, property packages. So this is the one method you can get help from Espen Hyaces uh, property package assistant. Okay, now let's come to the second method of selecting the appropriate property package. In the first method, I get help from the property package assistant. In this method, I will get help from three uh, packages. The first one is, uh, first, first of all, we will choose if the process or the components are polar or non-polar if the system is polar or non-polar if the system is polar then we will check uh, if it is electrolyte or non-electrolyte system if it is electrolyte system then we will use electrolyte nrtl or pizza okay if it is non-electrolyte then for that we will see figure 2 so come to non-polar if, uh, if the system is non-polar then we will see if it is real or pseudo and real if it is real then we will use Pengo Benson, Redlick Kwang Suave and Lee Kessler Blocker if the system is pseudo and real then we will check on pressure if the pressure is higher then we will use Keo Cedar, Grayson Street or Braun K10. If it is VQ or low pressure then we will use Braun K10 or Ideal. In the first method I told you that Braun K10 is used for 
लो प्रेशर सिस्टम सो इफ दिस्टम इज पोलर एंड नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट देन चेक फिगर टू नाउ कम टू फिगर टू दिस इज फिगर टू इफ द सिस्टम इज पोलर एंड नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट देन वी विल चेक द प्रेशर इफ प्रेशर इज लेस देन टेन बार and a pressure is greater than 10 bar if pressure is less than 10 bar then we will see or we will check ig ij ij mean interaction parameters interaction parameters available it is also called bip first i want to clear your concept about bips so what are bips in thermodynamics bip stands for binary interaction parameter to understand bip let's consider a mixture of two substances such as water and ethanol when these substances are mixed together they can interact with each other in various ways binary interaction parameters are values that describe the strength and nature of these interaction between pairs of components in a mixture they help us understand how the molecules of one substance interact with the molecules of another substance in the mixture in figure 2 there will be bip and there will be bip not present so i have made these notes to clear your concept about bips if bip is yes it means that the selected thermodynamic model or property package considers the interaction between pairs of components in a mixture in other words the model takes into account the fact that different substances in a mixture can interact with each other in various ways when bip are present it indicates that the chosen thermodynamic model recognizes that the behavior of the mixture may deviate from ideal behavior ideal behavior assumes that the components in the mixture do not interact with each other and behave independently however in reality many mixture exhibit non ideal behavior due to molecular interactions by considering bips the thermodynamic model can accurately represent the effects of these interactions on the properties and behavior of the mixture this includes phenomena such as phase equilibria eg vapor liquid equi equilibrium liquid liquid equi equilibrium excess properties and activity coefficients the presence of bips allows for more a more realistic and accurate represent representation of the mixture especially in system where molecular interactions play a significant role it helps in predicting and understanding the thermodynamics behavior of the mixture under different condition and aids in the design and optimization of process, process involving the mixture such as separation process or chemical reaction if vip is no if vip is not present it means that the selected thermodynamic model or property package does not consider the interaction between pairs of components in a mixture In this case the model assumes ideal behavior of the mixture ideal behavior assumes that the component as components in the mixture do not interact with each other and behave independently it simplifies the calculation and assumes that the mixture properties can be determined solely based on the individual properties of the components now come to our figure you can see if a system is polar in non electrolyte then you will see you will check on pressure if pressure is less than 10 bar then the bip basic interaction parameter if it is available if the components interacts then you will check ll ll mean liquid liquid if it is a liquid liquid then you will use an rtl uniquek and your variances you will use these property packages if no liquid liquid then you will use wilson and rtl in a quick and their variances if pressure is less than 10 bar and bip is not present there is no interaction between components and l l is present liquid liquid the system is liquid liquid then you will use unifake lle and if it is 
and if liquid liquid has no no liquid liquid system then you will use unifig and its extensions and if the system or polar and non electrolytes and the pressure is greater than 10 bar here then you will check on BIPs. If BIPs are available, basic interaction parameters are available, then you will use these property packages. The first one is Schwartz and Trober Renan and PR, PR mean Peng Rubenson or RKS, Redley Kwong Suave with WS. Pengrubenser or RKS with MHV2. If the basic interaction parameter BIPs is not available, then you will use PS, RK, PR or RKS with MHV2. So now, if polymers are present in the system, in the simulation uh, you are doing, then what will you do? Which property? package will you select there are four property packages you will select in your process number first is wilson nrtl uniquig and unifig first of all you will check on vapor phase association if it is yes then you will check on dp degrees of polymerization if it is hexamers then you will use wilson nrtl uniquig and unifig if it is dimers, then you will use Wilson NRTL Uniquick Unifig with Hayden O'Connell or Nutnage EOS. If VAP Vapor Phase Association is not present, then you will use Wilson NRTL Uniquick or Unifig with Ideal Case or RK EOS. So now you will know that. What is the appropriate package cell package for your process? First, I explain the method in which we get help from property package assistant and span ISIS. Second, I explain it to you by the help of these three figures diagrams. So uh, now it is easy of selecting the appropriate package for your uh, process if you have liked the video then comment and subscribe to the channel so, so you can get uh, more updates and more videos on spin or other chemical engineering concepts thank you